Hello. In today's video, we're going to take a look at this 1996 Mexican Stratocaster that I got. And we're going to prepare it for listing in the reverb shop. And we're going to take a look at a closer look at it. And you can see just how dirty and uh, in need of a cleanup this guitar is. You might not be able to see it from this distance, but when I get in close up, you'll see how grimy it is. It's actually sticky. It's kind of gross. Um, and what I'll be using, I'll show you my tools, my Music Nomad guitar polish. Uh, I usually use the Fender Fingerboard Remedy. And I use the Frine polishing for the frets. And of course I'll use a, a Freck Guru uh, ruler here to check the action. And of course you need a string winder, well, wire cutters, uh, polish cloth, and then I'll be throwing a set of 9-42 Elixir strings on it at the end. So with that, let's go ahead and uh, take a closer look at this guitar. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this and let me show you how much dirt and grime is on on the top of this guitar here. You can really see how much buildup there is. But the good thing is it's really just dirt and grime buildup and this all should polish off pretty easily. And this guitar should look really nice after I'm done. I'm pretty sure even that is just dirt. It looks like a a nick, but I'm pretty sure that's some more dirt. You can see like maybe somebody got some pop on it or something because it's actually sticky. I was playing it earlier and then I had to wash my hands after I was done. And these are some old strings. They need to be cleaned off or replaced. And you see the build up there on the headstock. But for being a 1996, it's actually in really, really good condition. And it's mostly just the top of it that's super, super dirty. There you go. So if we flip it over and look at the back, it's not nearly as bad back here. It's pretty clean. And again, really no, no major dings or dents on it. So for being a 1996 model, this is in really nice condition. All right, so next, let's get the strings off of this. Yep, those are all tight, so that's good. One less thing I need to fix. Got five of them. Looks like the B string is being stubborn. So what you can do when that happens is just grab an Allen wrench, one of the th real thin ones, and poke it in from the top side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little Allen wrench here and poke it in from the top, and that uh, that will hit the ball end and poke it through the back like that. And now that should be out the back. Yep, there we go. So that's a little trick. All right, so let's start wiping her down. All right, so I like to start with the fretboard. And another thing I do is I'll use a t-shirt or something I can turn several times for all the, you know, the first pass on cleaning to get as much of the dirt off as, I, as possible. And then especially on the body, I'll do that and just get it as clean as possible. And then the last polish, do it with your polish cloth that way you're getting all the dirt off and then this polish cloth will stay a little bit cleaner with the polish and it'll you won't keep spreading the dirt around if you keep uh, turning your uh, your t-shirt or whatever towel you use. So let's get some uh, fretboard remedy or I think it's fingerboard remedy I'm sorry fingerboard remedy on the fretboard and clean that up first. Thank you. 
And I'll usually do it a second time when it's super dirty like that. And then on the body, I'll use, uh, again, I use this uh, Music Nomad Pro Strength Guitar Polish. This really does uh, a really good job of cleaning up. And another thing this is good for is chrome cover, chrome pickup covers, like on your Gibson pickups covers or any kind of chrome pickup cover like that that gets tarnished. This stuff works wonders on that. So I'll just put a little bit on a few areas here. A little bit here, and that should be enough. And again, I'll start with a, with a t-shirt to get as much of the dirt off as I can and keep turning it as I do it. Yeah, it's got some here too. This needs to be cleaned off. All right, and the light, so I can see that uh, the pick guard is still pretty dirty and it needs a little bit more work. So let's keep hammering away at it. And you can kind of see a little bit on the outline here. Still some residue around the edges there that I need to get off. All right, time for a fresh new set of strings. But yeah, this cleaned up nice, nice sunburst finish. Tortoise shell pick guard, looks like it has a Seymour Duncan in the bridge. I'm not sure what model that is, um, but it's a Seymour Duncan humbucker. And that's how it's looking after a cleanup. And I'm sure you remember all the dirty rag shots. So there it is. All right. Another one rescued. All right, well, after a considerable amount of elbow grease and using a lot of this uh, Pro Strength Guitar Polish, I finally got this thing looking pretty good and it's ready to go. So if you're interested in taking a look at this guitar, I will be putting this up in my reverb shop and it's looking pretty good. Cleaned up really nicely. So again, I'll be putting this up in my reverb shop. And if you want to check out any of the products that I use to clean this, there are links in the description down below. If you like the video, take the time to uh, like and subscribe and share with a friend if you would. And I appreciate you watching my video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.